getting your daily dose of motivation. This is episode 79, titled Dramatic Infant. I don't know if you notice, I'm wearing my sweet Bose headphones, walking in the field by my work. I have a very busy day today. So I'm getting my walk on, I'm breathing hard for you guys, <sighs> trying not to shake the camera too much. And uh, yeah, so you might hear some traffic and stuff like that, but I have a lot going on. I gotta hurry up and get to, to uh, Tacoma right after work. I'm gonna watch Dave Chappelle and Joe Rogan, two of my comic heroes. I am very, very excited for that. But I wanted to make a video for you that wasn't in my car driving. I don't wanna make that like a normal thing. It's just convenient sometimes. So how's it going? I feel like life is, is beautiful. And I was thinking about how positive I am more these days. I still have my negative moments, and uh, but they don't last all day like they used to. I used to just let myself get sucked into this negative void. A lot of that had to do with having full-blown depression, full-blown anxiety, and I just didn't want to deal with any of it, so I just let it go on. I didn't try to fight it, and I let myself fall deep into that shit, and I'm telling you, if you want to feel better and you want to be happier, you have to recognize what you're doing and you got to work on it. That's the only way things are going to get better. If you just let yourself think that the world sucks balls and <laughs> you know everything's just horrible and you're negative on top of being depressed and having anxiety and all those things. It's just gonna make things stay the same or they're gonna get worse. And I know that from experience. Some people aren't ready yet. I wasn't ready for so many years. I thought I deserved to feel like shit. And so I just hated everything. I hated myself. Every day was just negative. And uh, I don't know. I spent a lot of my life being a dramatic infant, being a dramatic child even in my adult stages. <laughs> and I still do it sometimes. It's hard not to revert back to the way that I shouldn't be and the way that I don't wanna be. And so when I see that happening, I try to battle it. Sometimes I'm tired, <laughs> sometimes depression <laughs> grabs a hold of my brain and I just let it go for the ride. And I'm trying to fight that. So if you're just like me, and you're a little bit of a dramatic infant, a little bit of a baby about certain things, but you know that it's because life is stressing you out, you know it's because you're depressed and you just wanna let it go and you wanna be negative and you're just like, F it. <laughs> you know that you can fight that. You can choose to react differently to whatever problems that you have going on. And if you really, really think about it, <laughs> life is and beautiful isn't it I mean you're alive no matter what stresses you have going on like look at the stresses Whew, sweating it up it's a lot hotter out here than the weather looks by the way <laughs> also I'm fat and I'm walking and holding a camera out in front of me and pretending like I'm not holding it myself so that's a lot of work and trying not to breathe too loud so <laughs> so I got that out of the way Anyway, my point is, is that life is so beautiful and so amazing. I mean, when you're feeling down and everything just feels like it's falling around you, try to look at what isn't. So if you're in a relationship and you guys are fighting right now and it's not anything like a deal breaker, you know, like the person didn't cheat on you or something crazy, but you guys are just fighting, like look at the person that you're with and say like, do I love this person? Am I glad they're alive? Am I glad that we're together? Look at that and then imagine that you guys aren't together. And then really, really choose to like appreciate that you guys are together. That's just one small example. I've done that before. And I'm sure <laughs> some of the people that I've been with probably had to do that a lot when we were fighting. But if you think about it, you know, appreciate what you have. You might have your kids and they're stressing you the fuck out. Maybe you're the, the only one watching them and they're just screaming and they're breaking stuff and it, it can be stressful, but you have them. You have those kids, there's people 
in the world that can't have kids or that have lost their kids or lost their loved ones, whoever you're fighting with right now, whoever's stressing you out. And I'm not saying that you should think about, oh, other people have it way worse than me, so my problems don't matter. I'm saying look at the positives of the things that are around you and, and try to hold on to those during the times where you feel like you just don't give a shit or during the times when you're like me and you are acting like a baby, <laughs> a very dramatic infant. I've done it so many times and just never really paid attention to it because I was so used to, to defaulting to being dramatic and if I'm not good enough and everything around me sucks Everything's my fault. F it. I don't need to work on any of it. That's not a way, if you're trying to change your life, that is definitely not a way to look at things. So all I'm saying is, in the middle of all the negativity in the world and all the things going wrong, I feel for you. And But just try to look at what the positives are and try to be happy in whatever moment you're in. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm excited. I'm going to the show tonight. It's my little reward for working hard on everything. 79 episodes. I was, uh, I'm finally uploading my episodes to YouTube. I think I'm like up to 30 almost. So I'm trying to catch that up. It's been hard, you know, trying to keep up with everything. But I'm excited because I've been able to watch some of my past episodes. And 79, almost 80? Tomorrow will be 80 of these? I'm so proud of myself and I'm so excited about this all. And I'm just, Thank all of you for watching this, for keeping up with everything, and, and if you're changing your life and letting me know, that's great and that's exciting, and I'm gonna keep going with this. So, thank you all so much. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for all the, the wind and the cars and the uh, hard breathing and the sweating and the squinting, and uh, what else can I apologize for? All right, anyway. <laughs> Uh, love you guys. Whatever you're working on, keep on doing it. If you're going through a hard time, I'm sorry. I feel for you. But if you're being a baby about it and you know you are, like I do all the time, try to battle that. Let's try to battle that, <laughs> battle that dramatic infant. I hope someone walks by. They're like, what? Is he talking about fighting babies? No, fight the baby inside of you. Okay, now it's just getting weirder. <laughs> Much love. Keep on doing your thing.